especially in a more FOMO campaign with OSM Plus was really fun just because it was something that I experienced in my real life. I don't actually follow up on a lot of things that are happening in pop culture and I walk into my office sometimes with everybody talking about a show that I have no I have no references, I have no idea what's going on. So it's just a really natural, I think, partnership to do. And the entire idea and the entire premise of the ad was you know, what it feels like to really miss out and what it feels like to have everyone around you know what's going on when you don't. Um, so it was just a, a really like a natural fit. I think I have a couple favorite shows that I definitely get FOMO on. I would say first and foremost, and just like that, because I haven't fully caught up on and just like that, which is vibes because I hosted the and just like that premiere as well as the premiere of my No More FOMO campaign with OSM Plus. I hosted it in Dubai, like placards, the whole thing, sequiny dress, room full of people and I'm like and just like that I have I have not seen the whole show yet I don't I need to catch up so definitely FOMO on that one and then I would say Yellowstone as well just because everyone was like cowboy hats and cowgirl boots cowgirl boots and like the whole thing and I had no idea what was really going on but I'm glad that I watched it when I did because it was like five seasons in so five seasons in and I got to binge all of it so definitely FOMO on those two things. I've always wanted to experiment a little bit more with acting and I enjoyed having the outlet of like TikTok to be able to try that out. I'm much stronger in acting when it's in English because I can feel everything, I kind of know what I'm doing, but in Arabic it was definitely outside of my comfort zone and not just the acting bit of the OSN Plus ad, it was also the singing bit. I don't sing, like I've never had a desire to sing. So being in a studio booth recording that song at like 11 o'clock at night during Ramadan was peak peak anxiety vibes it was hardcore but i pushed myself so far out so yes yes into the foray of acting and it's actually opened up a lot of opportunities for that so i'm really thankful for what that's led us to i've actually already filmed a small role in a movie so we'll see how that goes <laughs> i think my major us here right now is is i'm really pouring myself into the businesses that we've built so i would say i would say an entrepreneur first when it comes to like career things. As a person, it's hard for me to find a single word to define what it is that I feel like I am. It's, uh, it's difficult to pigeonhole it. But I think my major focus right now is in growing my businesses because I don't think that the online sphere is forever and I don't want to have plugged away and put so much work into my digital presence for getting like my real life presence. And so I wanna make sure that I'm building something whether or not that's like building wonderful character and wonderful human beings in my children or building um, a brand and really making it you know, thrive, I would really like that to be the, the bit that I remember about this portion of my career. Um, I wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy, that's first and foremost. Um, the rest of it doesn't really apply. <laughs> Uh, no, but I wake up in the morning and I'm like black coffee, proper pour over. That's my like one zen moment of the day. Um, I enjoy coffee intensely and so like I, I go to sleep waking up like looking forward to waking up to have coffee in the morning and I get my kids to school so we usually leave the house like 6 30 ish I get them into school I'm trying to get back to going into the gym and then once gym is done I try and go into office or I go anywhere on location of where we're supposed to be filming so and then that's kind of the vibe of the day until around four o'clock when our office finally closes and everyone like kicks me out as well. They're like, it's four o'clock and we're not gonna film you anymore. So like, it's time for us to go. So that's, that's pretty much the run through of the day. And then I get back home, we do lunch with the kids or dinner with the kids. And I'm like in quality time mom mode, really. I try not to be on my phone as much just during their waking hours. And then once they're into bed, we've read our books for the night and like I've tucked them in and we've done the whole thing. Then I kind of start into plugging away at like any digital work that I didn't get to that day. So yeah, that's pretty much like rinse and repeat, I would say. But I travel a lot, so it's hard to keep that schedule all the time. But the travel disrupts it, just disrupts everything. Like I'm constantly going somewhere. Like I took 14 flights in six weeks this last couple months. I was dead I was dead I was done but it's part of the it's part of the job I enjoy it but it's part of the part of the chaos